Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 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 Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. And we, his children, we will rejoice and be glad in it. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Daily Dose with the Holy Ghost. It is another time in his presence. We thank the Lord this morning for his grace to witness another day. We thank the Lord this morning for his grace to watch, to, to wake up this morning. We thank the Lord this morning for his goodness and his mercies. And we say may his name be praised forever in the name of Jesus. Let us just take a few minutes to worship the Lord because he may learn he deserves our praise. He deserves our worship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, faithful God. Let's just worship him this morning as we go into our daily dose with the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. And please, as you are coming in, just share. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning. You are welcome. You are welcome to his presence this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, faithful Father. Hallelujah. Please share. God bless you for sharing. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Father. Let's just worship him. trust you every day every moment of the day Lord we will trust you we will trust you you are our banner yes Lord Jesus we shall never be ashamed 
In the name of Jesus, we will trust you, Jehovah. Jehovah, you are our banner. Rakata la basi ke ye de bose. La bagados ye de bas. We will trust you. We shall never be afraid. We will never be ashamed. We will trust you, Jehovah. Masikete la bagada. La bagados ye de bos. Yes, Lord. Lord, we will touch, trust you. We will trust you every moment of the day. We will trust you every moment of the way. Oh, la bagada bagada. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, I trust you. Lord, I trust you. Lord, I trust you. Lord, I trust you. Lord, we will trust you. In this season, we will trust you. In every season, we will trust you. Oh, Jehovah God, you are our banner. 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 Lord, you are our banner. You are our banner. We will trust you in the night time. We will trust you in the day. Father, you are our banner. You are the banner over our lives. That is why, Lord, we will trust you. Our trust is in you, Jesus. You are our banner. You are our banner. You are our banner. You are our banner. Ebagado di de de bos. La prakata la bakute te 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 te. Ibragada bali bogodos kente le bos. Oh ragala gala gala bos ye te 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 te. Re prakata ta 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 ta. Ika ya gada bala bogodos ye te 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 te. Rapakata la bagude si ke te. Oh shinte le bos ika ya daba. Oh Jesus, you are our banner. You are our banner. You are our banner. You are banner of victory at all times, Lord. We will trust you. We have our confidence in you. We have our confidence in you. We shall never be put to shame. We shall never be disgraced. In the name of Jesus. Ebagada balagado. Eprokoto to 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 sikete te 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 te. La prokoto rika lagada bas kende de de bas. Rabagada lagado sikaya de bas. E makata la bakure ke te 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 te. We will trust you every moment of the way. We will trust you, Jehovah God. Lipoko tori ka ya kata la bas. E braga da 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 la bas sikata la bas. E makara da 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 la bas kente le bas. Rabagado kende le bas sikaya de bas. Lord, we will trust you. We will trust you every moment of the way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We will trust you at all times. Father, we will trust you no matter the situation. We will trust you no matter the situation. We will trust you. La prakatoli arabos. Ikatarababa baba baba baba. Yeke in the night time. We will trust you in the day. We will trust you in our going out. We will trust you in our coming in. In the name of Jesus. We will trust you in our going out. In our coming in. Lord, we will trust you. We will continue to trust you. Because you are our banner. Oh God, you are the banner of our lives. You are the banner of our children. You are the banner. You are the banner. You are the banner, Lord. You are our banner. You are our banner. Banner of victory. Banner of victory. Banner of victory. You are our banner of victory. We shall never be ashamed. We will never be defeated, oh God. Because our confidence is not in man. Our confidence is not in man. Our confidence is not in the system. 
Our confidence is in you, our Lord and the shepherd of our soul. And so we will trust you and we will never be disgraced. We will never be put to shame. We will never be disgraced. We will never be put to shame. Oh, my son, to Rokoto. La Prokoto Sika ya Katalaba. Rapa Katalaba Kuteri Araba. Ori Kalagados Yaraba. Ebro Gododododododo Sika Tetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetet
in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We will trust you in the night time. And we will trust you in the day. And we will trust you every moment of our of the day. In the name of Jesus. I'll trust you in the night time. I will trust you in the day. Lord, I'll trust you every moment of the way. I'll trust you in the night time. Yes. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Good morning. God bless every one of you. You are all welcome in the name of Jesus. The Lord is good and his mercies endure it forever. Welcome to daily dose with the Holy Ghost. Welcome to daily dose with the Holy Ghost. Get your cups of water ready like we will do it for now. We'll always be blessing our water. Hallelujah. In the meantime, praise the Lord. So get your water ready as we, we just fellowship with the Holy Spirit. And then we'll have our daily 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 uh, those confession at the end of this broadcast. Praise Jesus. Today, we want to see Daniel chapter 1. I want us to go to the book of Daniel, chapter 1. Praise the Lord. How was your weekend? I hope it was good. Daniel, chapter 1. We'll be doing verses 1 till the end. 1 to 20. Good morning, Sister Rena. Good morning, everybody online. God bless you. Have you shared... You don't wait for me to even tell you to share because I'm not seeing you sharing. When you share, Facebook will notify me that you shared. So I know those of you that share and I know those of you that don't share. Also host watch parties. It is, that is one way to promote this gospel. That is one way to reach souls. You share to people, share to your friends, invite people on messenger, share to your messengers, your friend list of messengers. And then you share to your profile and then you host watch parties. You can host a watch party and then you come back to the main video so that um, you can leave your comments. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So let's go to the book of Daniel chapter 1 and we are going to start from verse 1. It says, In the third year of the reign of Joachim, king of Judah, came Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, unto Jerusalem and besieged it. It war, he warred against it. And the Lord gave Joachim, king of Judah, into his hand with part of the vessels of the house of God, which he carried into the land of Shina to the house of his God. And he brought the vessels into the treasure house of his God. It's talking about this king waged war against the, 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 the Joachim, the king of Judah, against Judah. And then he won. He besieged them. He took them captive. And then it says, and this happened because it was the will of God. Say, and the Lord gave Joachim, king of Judah, into his hand. Only God knows why he would do that. With parts of the vessel of the house of God, like things in the in the house of God, vessels in the house of God, like instruments or whatever was there that they used for the worship of the Lord. He said, which he carried it to the land of Shina, to the house of his God. Now he carried the things from the house of the Lord to into his own, into the house of his own uh, uh, gods. And he brought the vessels into the treasure house of his God. You see that? And the king spake unto Ap Apenas. 
the master of his eunuchs, that he should bring certain of the children of Israel and of the king's seed and of the princes. So he gave an order, bring me to the master of his eunuch, the one that is in charge of the people. Bring me certain children of Israel from among my captives. Look for certain people. Now you are going to see the criterion of the people he was looking for. He says, children in whom was no blemish, but well favored. Can you see his criteria? The guy will get taste. <laughs> he said, children in whom was no blemish, but well favored and skillful in all wisdom and corny in knowledge and understanding and understanding science and such as had ability in them to stand in the king's palace and whom they might teach the learning of the tongue of the Chaldeans. Now he needed this kind of people to run certain affairs in his kingdom. Now this is the criterion. People that we are going to look at that criterion with the um, uh, amplified version. And then, okay, let's just go there in verse 4. Let's check, let's, let's see the quality of the kind of people that he's looking for. Verse 4, with amplified version, he said, Young men without sin, that are faultless, no guilt, and handsome in appearance, oh, not only are they faultless, not only are they living pure, not only are they righteous, no, not only are they without sin, but they should be handsome in appearance. They should be skillful in all wisdom. Skillful in all wisdom. Now look at that. Endowed with intelligence and discernment. Endowed with intelligence and discernment. And quick to understand. This one. They say they have to be competent to stand. They need to be bold to stand in the presence of the king. He's not looking for, okay, let's finish it. And able to serve in the king's palace. He also ordered Ashpenaz, Ashpenaz to teach them the literature and language of the Chaldeans. They need to learn. They should have the ability to learn. Now, this is an ordinary king. This is just an ordinary king, King Nebuchadnezzar. Now looking for people, but he had a certain criteria that he was looking for. He had a certain criterion of people. He wasn't looking for just anyhow person. He wasn't just looking for non-trustworthy person. Men that are faultless. Men that are without blemish. Men that are holy. Men that can be trusted. This is a worldly king. This is a worldly king looking for this category of people. He said, people that are not shy, people that are bold, people that can stand before the presence of the Lord, people that knows whom they are, people that are of, are of this kind of uh, quality. My God, are you seeing what I'm seeing here? Are you seeing this? People that are of good, good reports, good quality well-behaved, well-mannered requirements for them to serve in the king's palace. Requirements for them to serve in the king's palace. Hey, Requirements for them to serve, for them to be servants in his palace, for them to be assigned a role in his palace. Now, they have to be young men without sin, without fault, without blemish. They have to be skillful in all wisdom. They have to be wise. They have to be endowed with intelligence and designment. An ordinary king is looking for staffs that are intelligent. And that and and can design with design and look at the qualities that a king, a physical king, is looking for. 
and they should be quick to understand. They should be competent to stand in the presence of the king. That is, they have to be bold. They, 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 he, he wasn't looking for timid and timid, timid and fearful people. He was not looking for people that are not consistent. He was not looking for people that are unstable. He said they should be competent to stand in the presence of the king and able to serve in the king's palace. They should be able to serve in the king's palace. And now, even at that, despite the fact that they have all this quality, he still appointed a teacher unto them. They should be ready to learn. They should be willing to learn because the task that is ahead of them, they need to know how to speak our own language. They need to understand how we do things they are not from this land they are not from the city but they need to know how we run the show in the city my god now tell me if a worldly king needs this kind of quality what about the heavenly king what about our heavenly father what about our god the lord of hosts what about the king of glory what about the creator of the universe? Do you have the qualities that he is looking for? This one is the, is the what will you call it, Nanana? Na, na. The, uh, the CV of the people he wants. <laughs> this has to be in them. Are you, bl are, you, are, are, you, are you blameless before God? Are you pure? Are you with blemish or without blemish? Are you frail before God? Are you skillful before him? Are you always afraid? Are you bold? Can he trust you? Are you trusted? Does God trust you? Can he depend on you? He said with desire, may you, do you have it? Are you intelligent? Are you, is your eyes open? Can you design? Or you are the one that is fearful. Even small coronavirus. Coronavirus is not small. Don't get me wrong. It is a very deadly, deadly demonic disease. It is not a plague, demonic plague that is on assignment to claim lives. But you that is a child of God, are you afraid of it? You are afraid of it. You are afraid of it. It's controlling you. Fear is controlling you. Fear is controlling your life. Everything you are so fearful. You are so fearful. You are so fearful. You are so fearful. But God is not even looking for this kind of people. He is looking for people that trust him. People that can stand before his presence. He says competent to stand in the presence of the king. And able to serve in the king's palace. God is looking for even these kind of people that are competent to stand before him, that are competent to trust him. No matter what, they will trust him because they know he is their banner, because they know he will never disgrace them, because they know he will never put them to shame. Anyone that put their trust and their confidence in God can never be put to shame. They can never be disgraced. Now look at that. The king assigned a daily ration for them. The king assigned a daily ration for them from his finest food and from the wine which he drank. Now these same people, the king wants them to be very well fed. Yeah, they were to be educated and nourished in his way for three years so that at the end of that time, they were prepared to enter into the king's palace. They should be ready to eat from the king's table. They should be ready to drink the wine from the king's table. Now, a physical king is making this kind of provision and say, you need to train them. Now, they have to be willing. You, me, us, are we ready? Are we willing? 
are we feeding from our king's table? Are we feeding from our father's table? God has made provision for us. God has given us examples to follow. He has been our shepherd, our leader, and our guide. But are we obedient unto him? Are we following his divine instructions? Or we are just too lazy even to follow. We are just running and chasing after our own ways, after our own things, doing our own things. Are we feeding from the king's table? Even in this time where you are home, even in this time you don't go to work, what are you doing with your time? Or are you just busy being afraid of the season, being afraid of corona, being afraid of other things? Or you are bold. The Bible says that the righteous are as bold as a lion. The king was making provision for them. Just as your father, do you think God will not take care of you in this season? Do you think that God will forsake you? Do you think God does not is not aware of what is going on? Do you trust him enough? Do you trust him enough? Now listen, listen, listen. I say among them from the songs of Judah, we are Daniel, Hananiah, Michelle and Azaria, the commander of the officials, gave them Babi, uh, Babylonian names. Daniel, he named Betashazzar. Hananiah, he named Shadrach. Michelle, he named Meshach. And Azaria, he named Abednego. These are the three Hebrew men. The, the, the three Hebrew men. But Daniel, now listen, listen to this one. The king was giving them a polluted food. Now this, the king was giving them, the king was giving them food from his evil altar, as in he sacrificed to his gods, food that he has sacrificed to his gods. So they will first bring the food to the shrine. They will first bring the food to the shrine, dedicate the food to their idol, and then they will now carry the food to go and be given to all these people. Among the people that we are choosing are these four children of God, Daniel. Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, they were among the people that we are choosing. But in verse 8, look at Daniel. But Daniel made up his mind that he would not defile, he would not tent, he would not dishonor himself with the king's finest food. Listen, when the devil wants to give you anything, he makes it look so good. He makes it look so shining. He makes it look so real, but it is not good. It is for evil. He will. The, the devil wants to... Uh, 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 brings present sin before you he will paint it he will polish it and make you think it is okay but daniel made up his own mind he said he will not allow himself to be defiled even in this season many people will allow themselves to be defiled Many people will begin to, to, to orchestrate mischief. It is already going on. I see some CCTVs. People are just going, just, just look at people. They know they are polluted with this virus. They will go to the shop. I saw police arresting a woman that was saying that she has a coronavirus. And she was spitting on apples, on fruits, on the veggie sections in a supermarket. And police was arresting her. I saw the video. Some people now, they will just stay in the lift. lift oh, they will spit on it because they already have the infection. So that people will get infected. They will now go. Now, now I saw a CCTV. There are two people. They were just going in the whole neighborhood in the night when people are sleeping. Oh, they are opening. They are touching all the, car, all the uh, cars. The, the handle of the cars. Wickedness. In this time, people are, are just being wicked and unreasonable. People are just doing things that will cause other people to be infected. But even at that, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. We, the, the righteous, will run into it and we are saved and we are secured. But Daniel trusted in his God. Will you allow this season to cause you to do what you are not supposed to do? Will you allow this season to cause you to lie? Will you allow this season to cause you to cheat your neighbor? Will you allow this season now because you are under pressure, begin to do things that are not right? Will you allow this season to control you? 
Daniel made up his mind that he would not allow himself to be defied no matter the situation no matter how sweet the food may look no matter how fine it will be no matter how good the wine will be so he asked the commander of the officials that he might be excused so that he would not defile himself so that he will not defile himself he said lose thing now God granted Daniel favor and compassion in the sight of the commander of the officials. And the commander of the officials said to Daniel, I am afraid of my lord the king, who has prearranged your food and your drink. For why should he see your face looking more haggard than the young men who are your own age? Then you would make me forfeit my head to the king. There is a, <laughs> there is a punishment for disobedience. The head of the eunuch that has been placed in charge that should be making sure that this selected man eats very well is now saying to Daniel, Daniel, this one is trouble. But Daniel, already before then, you see, this is the thing. God knows how to favor you before men. God knows how to work out that favor for you. You don't have to do it by your own knowledge, by your own wisdom. First, Daniel was in obedience to the word of God. Daniel was fulfilling the scripture and he knew that he was in the will of God. My dear, let me tell you something that God will always favor you when you are walking according to his will, whether in your place of work, you are faithful, you are righteous. You know, this is the will of God. When you go before your boss to say this and that, the God will favor you before them. God will favor you before them because he knows it is for his glory. Daniel was not doing this to show off. You know how some of us, we do things for people, for us to show off. But Daniel wasn't showing it off. Daniel was really, really, really ready. He was not ready to defile himself. He was not ready to sin against God. He was ready. He was already a Christian before they were captured and brought to that city. And they intend, even in the midst of that difficult time, he still has proposed in his heart that he wasn't going to sin against his God. And the man was afraid. Daniel, if I don't give you this food, you will look haggard though. You will not be looking good because you are starving. You are not eating. And then the king will have my, because that time when any a, 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 a worker in the palace misbehave, straight away the king will take their head. He will just chop off their head. That is their punishment, cut off their head. So the, 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 the guy was afraid, but Daniel, he said, then would you make me forfeit my head to the king? But Daniel said to the overseer, whom the commander of the officials had appointed over Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, please, he said, please test your servant for 10 days. Look, this is faith. This is faith. This is faith. Test. Say, please test your servant for only 10 days and let us be given some vegetables to eat and water to drink. That is all. Then let our appearance and the appearance of the young man who eat the king's fine meat, finest, not even fine though, the best meat. Say, then let our appearance and the appearance of the young men who eat the king's finest meat be observed and compared by you and deal with your servant in accordance with what you see now okay let us do it this way don't worry i am not let's do it since it's for three years right the king wants us to eat this for three years okay let you just give us 10 uh, 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 10 days what we want give us vegetable and water me and my boys shadrach meshach and abednego then continue to give those people the, 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 the already polluted meat from the finest meat from the king's temple. Then try it for 10 days. Let us see the result. Then you will now compare me with them. Compare us and see who we have the best containers. My dear, that is faith. That is faith right there. Daniel trusted in, a God, in his God. Daniel was not even trusting the vegetable. He was not just trusting the water. He was trying the supernatural uh, a touch of God upon that. He knows that God will just use that to nourish them. He was trusting that God will use that one to nourish them. He was trusting that God will use that to glorify his name. It's just like the way we are now being told. 
observe this observe that wash your hands use your face mask if you have to you know sanitize yourself keep this one clean make sure you wear gloves yes this this is a requirement by the government and every everybody christian you know some christians will be stupid and foolish in this time they will be claiming faith claim faith very very well but faith is not stupidity you don't tempt God. I am a child of God. Nothing that shall by enemy touch me. You better wear your gloves. Cover your nose. People are spitting virus everywhere. Protect yourself. Obey the laws of the land. This is wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. But our trust is not in it. We are just following, uh, 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 in fulfilling the laws of the land. But not that we are trusting the glove to just be the one that will keep us away from the virus. We are believing that God is the one. God is the one that will keep us from the virus. But we will do all this physical thing because the Bible says wisdom is the principal thing. You do what you have to do and you leave God to do the rest. You do the one you can do. You leave the, uh, God to do the rest. And then you, you can claim faith now and begin to tempt God. Don't tempt the Lord your God. <laughs> Don't try God. I was saying the last time, oh, you say, oh, Daniel was thrown into the lion's den. You carry yourself. You see a group of lions. No, oh, no. You say, oh, uh, the Bible says uh, you shall tread upon serpent and scorpions. They will not bite you. And then you see a snake coming towards you. You walk to the snake and say, the Lord says I shall tread upon. Carry yourself and match the snake. The snake will bite you very well. And you might die from that poison. You know why? That is foolishness. You cannot tempt the Lord your God. Thou shall not tempt the Lord your God. That is you tempting God. Even though God have said that, he still says wisdom. I wish God, the Bible says, brethren, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health. Health. It is the will of God that you prosper. It is the will of God that you be in health. Daniel was doing this to glorify God. Daniel was doing this to prove that God is real. And Daniel was doing it in obedience to the word of God because he did not want to pollute his spirit because that food is coming from an idol. He did not want to pollute. Many people are eating food that is coming from an idol. You are a pastor. Your members are into prostitution. You are collecting their tithe without correcting them that what they are doing is good. You are eating the food from an idol. You are a pastor. Your member is, is a Yahoo boy. You are a Yahoo man. You are not correcting them. You are not telling them their faults. You are not letting them know that what they are doing is wrong. You are encouraging them and you are collecting their offering. Even after you have told them, they still choose to pay the offering. It is their choice. But let them know that what they are doing is wrong. You have, you are a pastor, you are, you, you have a member who is selling drugs, drugs, killing human, human beings, destroying life, selling drugs. You are happily collecting their tithe and offering without preaching the truth to them, without telling them the truth that what they are doing is wrong. You are eating meat from the, from the, uh, uh, you, from the idols. All these are blood money. I know how many people stop following me. Because I told them the truth. When they come in private, oh, I'm in Malaysia. What do you do? Ah, mama, I'm not going to lie. I sell drugs, you know. But no, 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 I don't sell drugs. But uh, my money, I just give them money and they do it. They send me my profit. But you are a particular of it. You are not selling it. But your money is going and you are collecting the f uh, profit. And what is the drug doing? Killing people, wasting lives. You are destroying the lives of people. God is not happy with that. I don't care whether you want to pay tithe of one million. You need to know the truth. And I cannot pray for your business. I don't pray for such businesses. And they leave. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. But at least my conscience is clear before God. I am not blameless. The only prayer I will pray for you is I preach repentance. You'll give your life to God. I pray for you. But whereby you are not ready to cease. You want me to pray for your... I just say, okay, continue to follow. Maybe one day, continue to follow the ministry. Maybe one day, God will touch your heart. Maybe one day, as you are hearing the, uh, the gospel, God will touch your heart. 
and they can't stand the teaching they will leave. And I'm cool with it. I have told you the truth. But it is a matter of choice if you want to follow or not. It is a matter of choice. You cannot be doing all of these things. And you expect God to bless you. You expect God to bless you. No. No. You are eating from what is, you are eating that polluted meat that is coming from the altar of the devil. Daniel said to him, give us vegetable. We trust God that even if we are eating only vegetable for 10 days, we will be looking fresher than these people. He said, just test us and see. Test us and see. And later, after 10 days, we will see. Now, so the man listened to them. So the man listened to them in this matter and tested them for 10 days. At the end of 10 days, it seemed that they were looking better and healthier. Do you see what God can do? They were looking better and healthier than all the young men who ate the king's finest food. So the overseer continued to withhold their fine food and the wine they were to drink and kept giving them vegetable. After then 10 days, the Lord showed up and proved that he is God. It is, the bat it is the Lord's battle. It is not yours. God is the one that will fight this fight for you. We do not have the power to fight for ourselves. All Daniel and the three Hebrew men did was to trust in their God, was to believe in their God, was to have confidence in their God, that God would deliver them and see them through, that even the water and vegetable will nourish everything and make them look even better. Daniel believed it and he put that challenge in motion. That is faith. Confidence in their God. Trust in their God. And after 10 days, they, it was discovered that they were finer. They were looking more better. They were looking good. They were looking good. And the man continued to give them this food. So as for the four young men, God gave them knowledge, skill in all kinds of literature and wisdom. Daniel also understood all kinds of visions and dreams. They were endowed. Why will God not gift you? God will anoint you. God will give you gifts when your ways are right with him. God will open your spiritual sight. He will give you everything you need to work for him. He will anoint your life. He will give them to you. As for these four men, they were the best. God gave them knowledge. God increased them because they were walking with him. They were confident. They were confident. They were confident in their God. They trusted in their God to see them through that season. And at the end of it all, God gave them skills. God gave them knowledge. God gave them wisdom. And God gave them gift, spiritual gift, because Daniel also understood all kinds of dreams. At the end of the set time by the king to bring all the young men in before him, the commander of the officials presented them to Nebuchadnezzar. The king spoke with them. The king spoke with them and among them all, not one was found like Daniel, uh, Hanan Hananiah, Michel, and Azariah. Now, do you see that? Among all the people, with all of them eating the king's uh, finest meat, them doing what is not right before God. But when the day came, none of them was found as good as these three, four children of God. They were the best. Why? They trusted God and God equipped them because God needed to use them. Listen to me. When God calls you to do anything, he will equip you for it. For it. When God sends you on any errand, he will equip you for it. When God said do this or that, he will equip you for it. Whatever God, wherever God, anything, even in business. When God is saying, oh, my daughter, this is the gift is I wanted to run this business. He will equip equip you for that business. If the Lord is saying, oh, this is the job I want you to do, he will equip you for that job. Even if it is ministry, he will equip you. Look at me. 
He gives us grace every single day. He gives us grace every single day. Look at that. For the past how many years we have been teaching the word and yet he keeps giving us words to speak. See, when I, this morning I dreamt and I was, this is where I saw in my dream when I woke up for to get ready. Usually I wake up at five o'clock, one hour before this time and I start to pray. And just as I was dreaming, oh my God, I actually dreamt this last night. God was, we were just doing, oh my God, it was so cool. Listen, 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 listen. Even as much as God is blessing you, there are agents of darkness, they out there that also want to steal from you, wants to take your blessings. But the Lord of hosts has gone ahead of you to defeat them, even in your dreams. God is never short. He never slacks concerning his promises. He will equip you for that thing he's leading you to do. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. And this is where I was teaching in the dream. Like when I woke up this morning, it was the book of Daniel chapter 1. And I knew that is where he wanted me to teach. When I went to bed last night, I had something else in mind. But when I woke up, before I woke up, he gave me here in my dream. He gave me Daniel 1 in my dream. You see how God equips us. That is how he equips you for that thing. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to step out when God is leading you to do so because he is the one that we do it, not you. They chose them. He says now, he says, says assigned to stand before the king. Eh? They say they presented them and they did not find anyone like them. They did not find anyone like Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. There was none like them. They were endowed with wisdom. They were endowed with wisdom, uh, knowledge. They were so sharp. They could see dreams. They could understand dreams. They found no one else. Listen, when you faithfully serve God, he will never bring you to shame. See, they assigned them. To stand before the king and enter his personal service. Oh my God. In every matter of wisdom and understanding about which the king consulted, consulted them. He found them. Listen to this one. He found them 10 times better than all the learned magicians and enchanters. In his whole realm. Wow. And Daniel remained there until the first year of the reign of the king Cyrus over Babylon. Wow, did you see that? Did you see that? He said he found them 10 times better than all the land magicians and enchanters all the ones that he's been using. He found these children of God, the four of them, better, better. Why? Because the Lord himself has equipped them by himself for this journey. Listen to me. Listen to me, brethren. In the journey of your life, God is the one that will equip you. God has, is the one that will equip you. That is why you will not lean. You should not lean onto your own understanding. That is why you should trust him every single day. That is why you should believe. Did God say you will die prematurely? Premature death is not your portion. That is why this virus has no place in you. Yes, follow your protocols. Obey the laws of the land. No handshake. Stay away. Maintain social gap and all of that. It is not the end of the road. God has a better plan and his plan will come into play. Trust in him. Trust in him. Trust in him. Like Daniel, like Shadrach, like Meshach and Abednego. They believed. They refused to sin. Stay away from sin. Remain, they remained in his presence. Stay, remain in his presence. In the presence, the presence of God drives away fear. The presence of God drives away unbelief. The presence of God drives away doubt. The reason you are so afraid is because you have sin. Your ways are not pure. Your ways are not right. You are afraid to die because if you die, you will go to hell. You know you are not faithful to God. But these men, they were faithful and God blessed them. God gave them all they needed to, to have. God equipped them for the journey of their life. That even the king himself 
found them ten, not one, not two, not three. Ten times why the spirit of God was in them. The spirit of God was in them. The spirit of God was in them. What about you? Is the spirit of God in you? Even though you are speaking in tongues, but yet, but yet you have some loopholes. You are not sincere, especially when it comes to finance. That is where many Christians are not sincere. Obedience, you are not sincere. You know in your heart of hearts that your ways are not right with God. You know that if Jesus come now, you are going to hell. That is why you are afraid. But you need to learn to trust and have confidence in your God. Because him alone is able to do exceedingly. Him alone is able to do what nobody can do. Your God is able. 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 No matter the situation, your God is able. Even in this season of dryness, do you trust God to see you through? Do you trust God to provide food for you? Do you trust God or you want to go out of your way to go and risk your life or because you want to eat food? And then you begin to regret it later. Do you believe that God is able, that God can take care of you? Are your loved ones, are your children, are your family? Do you believe? Daniel believed in his God so much that he was not afraid at all. He was ready. Oh, we need wisdom. We need knowledge. And God says, does anybody lack wisdom? Ask. Does anybody lack wisdom? Ask. All you need to do is to ask for that wisdom. Ask God for it. He will grant unto you. He will give it to you. Are you in need of wisdom? Are you in need of understanding? Are you struggling in any area? Ask and it shall be given to you. Well, we know that we are lacking this on that. Instead of us to ask, what if Daniel had not gone to see? Oh, Daniel was, maybe, what if Daniel was afraid? I say, hey, this one, if I don't eat this food now, the king will be, will be angry, you know. And they say, mm, I let me eat it by faith. No, I will just anoint it. Let me just anoint it and then I will bless it and eat it and cancel it. It's a lie. You are deceiving yourself. You are eating anything that is polluted in faith that it will not hurt you. You are deceiving yourself because it will hurt you. It is not the will of God that we should pollute ourselves in the physical or in the spiritual. It is not the will of God that we should pollute ourselves. It is not the will of God that we should pollute ourselves. It is not the will of God that we should pollute ourselves. It is not the will of God that we should pollute ourselves. When you go outside the will of God, you miss it. When you go outside the will of God, you miss it. Your preservation is in his will. Your preservation is in the will of God. Everything we need in life is wrapped up in the word. It is wrapped up in the word of God. Don't be carried away by these physical things. Don't be carried away by them. Rather choose to be carried away with the word of God. Be rooted in his word. Be rooted in his will. Be rooted in his plan. So shall ye prosper. So shall ye prosper. Prosperity is in the name of the Lord. Progress is in the name of the Lord. Healing is in the name of the Lord. Everything you need in life is wrapped up in the word of God. That is why God is asking us to seek him first. That every other thing will be added unto us. Daniel made up his mind. Have you made up your mind to be faithful? Or you are just trying to be faithful now because of coronavirus. But even some people are repenting now because they are afraid. 
I saw a post where in a, in a, a country, I, I don't know, I forgot the place. All majority of the Muslims there, they burnt their, their Quran. They said they don't want to serve Allah again. Now they want to serve God. They want to become Christians. Now why are they doing that? Is it because they genuinely want to be born again? Praise God if it is genuine. Or is it that after this ep ep pandemic is over, after this epidemic pandemic is over, you now, they will go back and start looking for another Quran. Or is that why you yourself you are here? You are here. You are coming. No, not even here. You you you've given your life to God so that you know, just so you can hide. He can protect you during this coronavirus season. And then after the coronavirus, even many people now fear they are if they won't smoke anymore, they won't drink anymore, they will not gamble anymore. Eh, they say gambling is a sin. Okay, no problem. Eh, you leave it. Eh, okay. Oh, why? Because they don't want to die, because they are afraid. So they are trying to hide inside, to hide in God. Because now they understand. If while you were in the sin, you were ministered to preach to, and you were told about these things that your lifestyle is wrong. How come you did not accept to give your life to God now? But now because of the virus, you are afraid, you don't want to die now. You pretend to give your life to God. God knows those that are his. No amount of pretense will bring you before his throne. Daniel and his men were not pretending. Their love for God was genuine and they were ready to face the battle. They were ready to take the bull by the horn. They were ready to plunge into the will of God because they know they were fulfilling that scripture that says it is no longer them that we are living but Christ that lives in them. Will that be your own confession and conclusion that Christ lives in you. You know he lives in you. My God, how can you say Christ lives in you and you are still lying? How can you say Christ lives in you? You still fornicate and commit adultery. How can you say Christ is in you? You cheat. How can you say Christ is in you? You are comfortably, comfortably gossiping your brother and your sister. How can you say Christ is in you? You struggle with blessing people with your finances. How can you say God is in you? You struggle with paying of tithes. Even now in this season, people don't even want to pay tithe anymore, but you are still among the key workers. Like those of us that are still working, I am working. Like those of us that are still working, you are still expected to pay your tithe and your offering because you are still working. For those that are not working, God knows you don't have, you are not earning. When you are not working, you have no income. You are not expected to pay tithes. So listen to me. If you have already paid tithe of the money in your account, now that uh, you are on lockdown and your church is asking money online, it is because of those of us that are still working. The healthcare providers are still working. The grocery stores are still working. Food sellers are working. Not restaurants, I mean like uh, um, uh, on raw food materials. For, because people still have to eat. The pharmacy is working. Post office is working. And so these ones, don't be angry if your pastor is posting, your church is posting, oh, Titan offering. Because online, because they are still doing online fellowship. They are still worshipping online in the meantime. And so you are to pay your tithe and your offering. So don't go, oh, because, no, this is not, no, don't do that. Except you are not earning. If you are not receiving salary, you are not receiving any social support, you are not, fine, you are exempted from it. But are you faithful? Until we become ruggedly faithful to God. We, we, we will not be partakers of it. You know, people don't like the truth. People would not want to hear this truth. But we have to continue to speak it. We have to continue to say it. They made up their mind. That was a sacrifice. Oh, it's okay. Imagine somebody eating no meat for three years. It's not like for two, 10 days was the test. But the thing was for three years. They ate only vegetables. You Can you eat vegetables for three years in the name of God? In order to avoid sin, can you eat vegetable, only vegetable for three years? Let us be honest too. Okay, how many of you can eat only vegetable for three years? Just be eating cucumber, lettuce, uh, uh, bro broccoli, no be fruit, oh, no fruit, only vegetable. Broccoli, uh, green beans, name all the green, 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 green vegetable. Oh, tomatoes, the red one, oh, green peppers, or the mixed peppers. Can you eat that for three years? Only oh, just that one. Nothing else. But they did. Every day they were eating the same thing. Even you, you get tired of eating a particular kind of food. 
Just eat rice for three days. Morning rice, afternoon rice, evening rice. You get eat it for two days. You get sick of rice. You want you want to eat something different. That is why we have a variety of food in our kitchen now. You get bored eating a particular food, but these children of God ate it for three years without complaint, without murmuring, without grumbling. That is how much they love God. That's right. The Bible says that we can do all things through Christ who gives us strength. Who told you you are limit? You are limitful. Some of us are the one that is putting limits and embargoes in our lives. We look at our physical appearance. You do things with your own ability instead of you to lean onto the ability of Christ for you to do all things according to his word. These men believed God. And God endowed them. Look at their reward. God blessed them with more wisdom, more knowledge, more understanding. To the extent that even when the king saw them, there was something different about them. What is different about you? What will people see in you that will make them know you are different? What is different about you? What is different about you? Do people see the light of God in you? What can people say about you? Masha Katalabos, we are going to pray now. Begin to rededicate yourself to God. If you know your ways are not 100% right with him. If you have not trusted him enough, even right now, do you trust him to see you through? Do you see him to see you through? Do you trust him to see you through this period? Or you are leaning onto your own understanding? Or you are leaning onto your own ways? Pray, 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 pray. He's your banner. Are you trusting him? Do you believe in him? Do you believe in him? Do you trust him? When you trust him, you will never be defeated. You will never know defeat. Begin to pray, rededicate yourself to God. In any way you know you have not trusted him enough. In any way you know you have not depended on him enough. In any way you have been leaning onto your own understanding. Ask him for mercy. Ask him for forgiveness. I'll trust him in the night time. I will trust him in the day. Are you praying? Lord, I'll trust you every moment of the way. I'll trust you. Are you praying? Is your trust in him? Is your confidence in him? Or you are leaning onto your own understanding? Do you trust him? Now you are going to pray, Father, Lord, my trust is in you. If you have not been trusting him to see you through, begin to trust him now. Begin to change your mindset. I begin to say, Father, I trust you no matter what. I trust you, Lord Jesus. I 
Lord, I trust you. Are you trusting him? Tell him, Father, Lord, I receive grace to trust you. I trust you. I trust you. I trust you, Lord. I receive grace to trust you, Jesus. Lord, I trust you. Lord, I trust you all the way. I trust you. I believe in your word. I trust you, Lord Jesus. I trust you. I believe. I believe in your word. I believe you, Lord. I believe. I believe in the name of Jesus. I will trust you. Will you be like Daniel today and trust him to see you through every situation in your life? To see you through every situation in your life. Are you trusting him? Yes, Lord Jesus. Our confidence is in you. Now, Daniel, we are endowed with wisdom, knowledge, understanding, discernment. Brethren, we need wisdom for our day-to-day -day living. We need understanding for our day-to-day -day living. We need the spirit of discernment for our day-to-day -day living. He said, if anyone lacks let him ask. Now begin to ask him for wisdom, for knowledge, understanding. Begin to say, Father, endow me with your wisdom. Endow me with your knowledge. Endow me with your wisdom. Endow me. Endow me. Endow me. Endow me. My shaka taraba. Begin to say, Father, endow my life with your wisdom. Fill me, Lord, with your wisdom. Fill me with your knowledge. Fill me with your understanding. Fill me with your gift of discernment. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, fill me with your wisdom. Would that be your testimony? Are you asking God for wisdom? Even in this season, Lord, give me wisdom. Help me to be wise. 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 Lord, fill my life with your wisdom. Divine wisdom. Divine wisdom. Divine wisdom in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Lord, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory. We honor you, Lord. We exalt you. We say, may your name be glorified. May your name be lifted on high. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you, oh God. We thank you, Jesus. You are worthy. You are faithful. You are awesome. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
Oh, la bagado seketeri anaba. Masken terebo sikatatata. Oh, Father God, we thank you. We bless your name. We worship you, Jehovah. We trust you. We believe in you, oh God. In the name of Jesus, our confidence is in you, faithful Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. Our trust is in you, King of glory. Our trust is in you, El Shaddai. Our trust is in you, Lion of Judah. Our trust is in you, our Lord and our maker. Oh, Father, help us. Help us. Help us. Help us. Help us. Rapakata la bagadosia daba. Ikete rabagadosia. La bragada da 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 Lord, we trust you. We trust you. We trust you. We trust you. We trust you to see us through, O God. We trust in your name. We trust in your power. We trust in you, everlasting King of glory. Lord, we ask for your wisdom. We ask for knowledge. We ask for understanding in this time. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus, we just bless your holy name. We ask for understanding, wisdom, learn, learn knowledge, O oh God. Father, gift us, O oh God, and us with every gift that we need for the season. You say he that needs wisdom, wisdom should ask. Father, we need wisdom in this time. We need understanding, Lord, enlightenment, even the gift of discernment. Help us to even design the gift to design the season that we are in. The season that we are in. Help us to design it, O oh God. Help us to design the season that we are in. In the name of Jesus. Have your way in our lives, O oh God. Take absolute control and let your name be glorified in Jesus' name. Get your water ready. Today is the fourth day we are pouring the water on our streets. On the outside our compound, in your garden, you can pour it in your back garden. It's a ground. Just pour it on the ground outside your house. It's a ground. Anywhere you pour it, whether in your garage, in your doorway, on your street, wherever. Just pour that water for the cleansing of the land. We believe it's a spiritual matter and the Lord is already handling it spiritually. And then get the one for you and your family and continue to drink, give yourself and your family and continue to anoint yourself and your family. Continue to anoint yourself and your family. Praise the Lord. Now, let us uh, take our daily days, do, daily dose confession. Um, it's been posted and it's been pinned. I have pinned it. I have pinned that daily dose confession. Don't tell me to wait. Whenever you are coming for, for the prayer, you should not always say, get your water ready. So have your water with you there. Not that I should wait. I can't wait. I have to go to work. I need to finish this and then go to work. Carry your phone with you and be following instructions. But for now, we are doing the confession first and then you get your water and then I'll pray on the water. So are we ready for the confession? It's on your screen. Just click on the see more. When you click on the see more where I pinned it, it will come out in full. Some of you, I told you to save it to your phones or however, because it's there. I even pinned it on the minute. I pinned it to the top of our ministry page. So it's easy for you to get access to them. I've made it easy for us. So that is the confession. We want to confess it now. So are we ready for our daily dose confessions? Our daily days confession. Now you are going to say after me. Are we ready? Type yes if you are ready. You have to be ready. Type yes. Yes, yes, yes. Let me see you. Type yes if you are ready now. For the daily dose confession. Yes. If you can see it is with you. You are ready with it. I want you to be looking at it while we are saying it. So it's easier for you. For some of you that don't have, uh, understand my accent. Type yes. Praise the Lord. I've seen one yes, and that is good. I'm good to go. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Okay, let's go. I and all that God has given me, we are for signs and wonders. Therefore, 
nothing shall by any means hurt us or cut short our lives. Coronavirus demon, any sicknesses, afflictions, diseases, torment, fear, and any evil arrow from the pit of hell. You are defeated in my life and in the lives of my immediate and extended family. Because the Lord is our keeper, our healer, our protector. He lives in us. We are carriers of his DNA. So his blood flows in us. Therefore, coronavirus, fear, anxiety, depression, death, any pestilence or arrows, that flies by day or night. We cannot be your victims because you have no power over us and our families. The Lord of hosts is with us and he is upholding us with his righteous right hand. The Lord of hosts is our keeper. He neither slumbers nor sleeps. And he is preserving our souls from all evil. That is why you cannot come near us. Or our dwelling places. The blood of Jesus is against you, coronavirus. And we send you back to hell where you belong. In the mighty name of Jesus. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. And we the righteous ones are hidden. Protected and covered in the mighty name of Jesus. So nothing, including coronavirus, can hurt us because we and our families are soaked and covered in the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for loving us and protecting us. We love you, Jesus. All glory is yours. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. You can read Psalm 121, Psalm 34. Isaiah 8, 18, Isaiah 41, 10, and you can pray with them as well. You can confess them as well in the name of Jesus. This is our daily dose. This should be your everyday dose in the name of Jesus. I got your water now. I want to pray. I pray for our water. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Don't forget you are getting two water. Don't forget you get two water. One to pour on your street and one for your family. This is the fourth day, so we have three more days to do it. We are doing that for seven days. Praise God. Get your water, two, two water. Whether in a cup, in a bottle. Make sure they are opened. Praise the Lord.
Are we ready? Are we ready? Is everybody ready with their water? Hallelujah. Make sure it's opened. Masakatalabash. Repokotosi kayarabas. Ekete rabagados gendelia. Mashaka tarabasi kete te 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 ripakata lates kayokotos le prokotos kente de de la bagada bagada ba yeke rakala katosia mas kontoro kotosia ribrokotos intalaba yipakata lakate te 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 rekete te 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 le katala katala katos rapakata labosi kaya ba 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 mashaka talabas kenderia ribrokotos kendele bosinta Rabasa, masonto kuya katalaba, le pakata rabase kete, ibagada bala bagada le bogodo si kete te 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 te, le prakata rika ya kata le bogodo sin taraba, la prokotos kantarabas kente ya, mashente rebo sin teria, le prakata rekete lika la da rabas, we speak live, we speak live, we speak live, we speak peace, healings, deliverance into this waters in the name of Jesus and we command these waters to become the blood of Jesus. We command this water to become the blood of Jesus. We command this water to become the blood of Jesus. We command this water to become we command that this water become your blood, O oh God. Let this water become your blood. I release the fire, the grace, the anointing upon my life, upon my ministry, into this water. Lord Jesus, Lord, we will use it, O oh God Almighty, for our deliverance, for our healing, O oh God. As many of you that are sick in your body, as you drink this water, receive divine healing. 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 Oh, she cut a la cates. In the name of Jesus, everything in your body that is not of God is a stranger. So, right now, I speak to every stranger in your lives, in your body. I command them to check out to hell where they belong. In the name of Jesus, be cleansed with your with the blood, the blood of the Lamb. You and your family, you are protected. This water is also for the protections of you and your family. In the name of Jesus, you and your family are protected. You, our family is protected. In your going out, in your coming in, you are protected. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. We send this water an errand right now in the name of Jesus to cleanse our body system, to flush us from afflictions, sicknesses, pains, and diseases. It's not our portion. In the name of Jesus, we send this air, water, and air and as a protection. Like now, to begin to build and strengthen our immune system, even in this season. In the name of Jesus Christ. I send it on air and into our streets right now. As we pour this water in our streets, Father, we begin to use our streets, our, our nations represented here as a point of of contact to the nations of the earth, oh God, we cause coronavirus to die to its roots. We command it to check back to hell where it came from, never to return in the name of Jesus. Lord, we decree, oh God, those that are already afflicted healings in their bones, healings in their bodies oh God, Father as we pour this water on the floor we send it on an errand to reach the whole surface of the earth in other countries oh God yes, heal our land heal our land, heal our people heal our, our people, all the sick right now 
now flush and cleanse our cities flush and cleanse our lands uh, from this virus in the name of Jesus Lord uh, we pray for sanity to come back oh God we delete fear from the heart and lives of people let them have confidence oh God strengthen people in this season Lord to trust in you in your will your plans in your purpose in the name of Jesus Lord this is no longer ordinary water but it is now your blood as we use it Father may we receive answers oh God in the mighty name of Jesus even as we take some of it to fleet and anoint our houses our cars and our properties Father you will keep our families safe in the name of Jesus no weapon that is fashioned against us shall prosper shall stand Lord because we trust in you oh God in the name of Jesus thank you Father oh we bless your holy name we say glory honor and adoration be ascribed to you everlasting king of glory in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah 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 praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord in the name of jesus thank you holy spirit we worship you 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 begin to thank him begin to thank him begin to worship him begin to appreciate him begin to glorify him begin to say thank you jesus begin to say thank you jesus thank you jesus for your faithfulness thank you jesus for your grace and your mercy thank you lord for your goodness we appreciate you everlasting father begin to appreciate him begin to appreciate him begin to appreciate him begin to appreciate him say lord we appreciate you hallelujah be to your name in the mighty name of jesus thank you faithful god all the glory is yours all the honor is is yours all the adoration is yours in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah 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 praise the lord somebody praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Just begin to praise him. Praise the Lord. Yes, Father. We love you. We love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 We love you. We love you. We love you. We love you. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Thank you for the gift of life. Begin to thank him. Thank him. Thank him for the gift of life. Thank him for his protection. Thank you for what he's doing in this season. Oh, yes, 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 yes. We will come out better. We will come out stronger. Our nations will come out healed in the name of Jesus. Lord, hallelujah. Oh, you are worthy. You are worthy. You are faithful. We bless your name, Jehovah. We thank you you oh god we bless you we reverence you in the mighty name of jesus oh let your name be praised let your name be praised in jesus name amen and amen god bless you god bless you um i want you to understand that the uh, number one we have changed time so we are one hour ahead now we change time so like it's around 7 30 around this time here so please walk at the time in your location so you don't miss our 6 a.m broadcast i know we are here every morning 6 a.m so here is like about 6 30 6 31 i mean 7 30 7 31 in the morning so walk at the time in your location and um, and set your alarm so that you see so clock you are awake and ready Praise God. Also, our fasting 24 hours fast starts tonight at 7. It starts 7 p.m. tonight. So by God's grace, I will come online around 7 for a quick prayer. Because, um, yes, yeah, so we protect us, our frontline workers, all of us frontline workers. We are front frontline workers. <laughs> His protection is upon us, yes, in the name of Jesus. So, our 24 hours fast starts tonight at 7 p.m. I will try to come briefly for prayer, for a brief uh, jump to jump start the fast. But we are going to be doing 12 midnight prayers. Mm -hmm. Who is ready for uh, 12 midnight prayer? Midnight, my time. We are going to do three days midnight prayer. It's a warfare, warfare prayer. Who is ready for warfare prayer? It's time to do some warfare warfare prayer warfare 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 12 midnight today tomorrow 
and next tomorrow is for three nights. This night, tomorrow night, the other night. Praise the Lord. So we may shift our time tomorrow because of the fasting and the midnight prayer. We may not be coming online 6 a.m. So it depends on when we finish. I will announce the time we'll come online. We may come online early, a little later. It depends on how how it goes. But we are we are here. We want to fight some. We want to throw some arrows. We want to throw some arrows to those witches and wizards and agents of darkness that are contending with the grace <laughs> and the mandate of God. It is time now. That prayer is due. Eh? <laughs> Which is boasting to who? Oh, eh, Yakata. It is time to throw some arrows. So get yourselves ready. While we are fasting in these 24 hours, we are going to be doing three days of midnight prayer, 12, 12 midnight, three days, three nights. Yes. So when we finish the prayer, we'll go and sleep. When we wake up, we'll do our, our daily dose. That time, anytime we wake up, after the prayer, we continue with the daily dose. So it's not going to be 6 a.m. now in the next three days because of that midnight prayer now because we need to sleep a little bit. And then we come for the daily dose and continue from there. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. We are not ignorant of the devices of the devil. Neither are we afraid. Are you afraid? Who is afraid here? Is any of my people afraid of the devil? <laughs> are you afraid of them? <laughs> they should be the one afraid of you. They should be the one afraid of us, not us afraid of them. We cannot be afraid of them. Huh? We can never be afraid of them. They are the ones that will see us and we run. In the name of Jesus. I cover you all in the blood of Jesus. We are not. Uh, I cover all of you in the blood of Jesus. It is well with you all in Jesus' name. I will see you tonight. I have to go get ready for work. I'm working till 5 p.m. today. You see, it's a long shift. So this is the time when I come online on Monday night, you see me sleeping off on the video because it's not easy. After working from working till 5 p.m., from morning till 5 p.m., you are rushing home. You are quickly want to quickly eat so that uh, you can um, meet the deadline because once it's 7 o'clock, you can't eat anymore. So you have to quickly rush to eat. And then before you even finish eating, you are rushing to go and start the broadcast. It's not easy now. Now grace, so it is grace. You know, uh huh. I like that one, Nelly. Say, not anymore. So, you used to be afraid of them. <laughs> the, the righteous are as bold as a lion. That's right. I love that one. I, I love that one. Not anymore. That is very good. Let them be the one to see you and run, not the other way around. Praise the Lord. Yeah, so see you 7 p.m. today. God bless all of you. Love you guys. If you have not shared this broadcast, please share now. It's not good that you are not sharing your mama's broadcast. So, and the broadcast is blessing you, but you, you are not sharing. I understand some of you don't like to share to your profile. Maybe you don't want your pastor to see it. You don't want your family member to see it. You don't want some people to see that you are following this woman of God. It is okay if you don't want to share on your profile. But go and join, in that case, go and join different groups on Facebook. Join some Christian and non-Christian groups. And then you share it in these groups. And then share on your messenger one one. You can share to your messengers. You know? So that is how you show you love me. Or don't love me with your mouth. And yet you are not promoting my video. You are not promoting the work of God. That one is not love. You are not supporting this ministry. It's not love for all of you that some of you that has been here since. You have not even, even sponsored one offense in this ministry. My dear, you don't belong to us. So you are just passing by and collecting our blessings. And your blessing, which we are, we give to you freely, we don't mind. But be a blessing by sharing. Be a blessing by giving. Be a blessing by supporting. Those of you that are still earning and receiving, be a blessing. You know? Those of you for now that it's like your business is grounded because of this uh, virus thing, don't worry. The Lord will sustain you. And He will make a way for you. He will provide for you. You will not suffer lack. You will not hunger. You will see enough to eat. By the grace of God. <laughs> Sister Maggie, you are laughing. Eh? It's true. Eh? Uh, it is well with all of you in Jesus' name. God bless you. Have a wonderful rest. See you later tonight. Don't forget to fasting my time, 7 p.m. We are using my time here.
it's easier to use my time so work with my time and my time now says my time now says um what time 7 38 my time now says 7 38 7 38 so go on work on the time in your location so set your alarm see you later god bless you bye bye